Could this be the ultimate expedition vehicle for living and traveling full time? Let's find out. Have you ever seen a camper built on a Humvee platform? Well, after seeing the patent in action, I think I may have to move into my new dream home. But first, let's take a closer look. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to install your own 50 cal for the zombie apocalypse. Doesn't come standard on the bill. <laughs> this is the Wolf Rig, built on the Humvee chassis. And no, it's not your standard military surplus vehicle. This thing is broken all the way down to the framework and then remanufactured. Let's take a look around the exterior of the vehicle and get an idea of what all is involved. So for looking at overall dimensions, we're at 19 feet long, seven feet wide, and 10 and a half feet tall. You notice you don't see a bunch of brand name fancy suspension packages, and that's because you just don't need them. Humvee comes standard with some really heavy duty suspension made for extreme high pressure situations. You can't just be breaking down in the field. Standard right out of the gate has 16 inch clearance. <laughs> Look, I'm the rocks right now. In your normal trucker pickup, you have the front and rear differentials to worry about hitting off rocks. But with the Humvee setup, that's not a problem. Look at all the clearance down here. This is the perfect off-roader for a lazy person. <laughs> you don't have to do anything extra. Down below, you can see the inline brake system and a close-up of the suspension. Moving on to the tires and wheels. We have 37 inch mud terrain wild peak tires. We have 17 inch black rhino wheels. Looks pretty nice. I actually have these same tires on my rig, but they're 35 inch all terrain. Moving up to the hood of the vehicle with the helicopter attachment points. Maybe you need to be lifted in or out. There'll also be a front winch on the front and a rear winch. Under the hood, you'll find the 5.9 liter mechanical Cummins or the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. Both turbocharged diesels and both with Allison 1000 transmissions. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the camper shell. You don't have to worry about any of that carbon fiber or fiberglass cracking on you. This is made with an eighth inch aircraft grade aluminum. It's panel bonded and ribbed, made to stand the test of time. They designed this thing to be passed down from generations. Let's do the Hannah test. The owner's not in here. <laughs> as far as insulation goes, there's one and a half inches of aluminum tubing, two inches of foam insulation, leaving a half inch of thermal overlap and no thermal transfer. There's also a bunch of L tracking. Above me, you can see there's some recovery gear, this farm jack, but you could also use it for attaching kayaks, snowboards, skis, fun, extreme things that you play with out in the wild. I'll let you decide. Moving right along to the rear of the vehicle, the garage. Let's open this up. With this winch, you just push a button, the tire will actually come down for you. You can also find the water filtration, propane storage, extra fuel storage, the shovel, the ladder, and this little romantic portable fire stove. So you can have a little campfire wherever you go. One cool safety feature about this design is there's no ventilation from this back hatch to the inside of the camper shell. If in fact there is some type of fuel or propane leak, it will just drain down into this shelf area. You don't have to worry about it penetrating or going into your living space. All smiles there. <laughs> As you can see down here, there are places for the hitch, hook up a trailer, and attachment points. They're actually working on a trailer that you can use in addition to this rig for extra storage space, living space, camping space, you know, all the good stuff. Right alongside, you'll come along to the 30 amp power hookup and your water intake. So you have your city hookup and your water tank fill. This leads to a 60 gallon fresh water tank. That's a decent amount of fresh water. I recently used a 40 gallon and it was plenty for me for a week. So 60 is pretty impressive. If you need additional water, you can always store additional water vats in the back. Nothing like a Humvee. I'm personally a fan of the character in the functional forward cap. Makes everything feel more like an adventure. Come on inside. Welcome inside the dream machine. Do you see how much space there is in here? One of the first things I like about this camper is how open it is. You almost forget that you're camping from the real wood countertops, hemlock ceiling, teak accents in the shower. Did I mention how big the shower is? I've never had a shower like this, much less in an overlanding rig. And a lot of the Sprinter van builds I've seen, you almost have to lube yourself up to squeeze into the shower. Not in this guy. <laughs> Is this almost like a 
full-size residential shower and there's a hideaway toilet in here it's really cool it just lifts this teak drawer up and then the toilet slides out pull this out just like that and then you can sit on your toilet then do your business and then it rolls right all the way in and check out this flushing system what in the astronaut is this thing? Don't get sucked in. And then it just... Okay, that was crazy. Let's slide that away. And then you step outside of the shower into this beautiful living space. Let's take a second to recap what's going on. We're in a 4x4 highly capable off-roading machine. And then you step into a five-star hotel. Is this not one of the most crazy vehicles you've seen? Who needs a Ferrari when you have one of these? And a Ferrari, you're just going to get speeding tickets. And this, you're going to have a bunch of fun. Come here, I have a secret for you. If your girlfriend complains about this, you're probably going to need a new girlfriend. <laughs> There is a door for the shower. It's just off so that you can see how beautiful the shower is. Let's talk about the kitchen because that's where all the magic happens. Food is where the heart is. I love this countertop, the beautiful wood, the deep bay sink. This spigot or faucet actually flips around to the outside of the vehicle through the window and becomes a two-in-one outdoor shower. You just pop open this window and flip it out. So you can talk to your shower buddy while you're cooking food. Flips back in, just like that. Speaking of windows, you have the Arctic Turn double pane windows that also have optional bug screens and privacy screens. You can just close everything off and do your thing. You have a nice Dometic propane stove, double burner, and then all of this counter space. There's also beneath it, two chest style fridge and freezer. There are different options that you can use instead of the chest style, if that's what you're looking for. Storage shelving it rolls out soft closed drawers they stay closed really nice there's definitely tension here so they don't go rolling around when you're off-roading and then there's a lock for the bottom ones plenty of storage underneath i'm 5 7 and there's a ton of room in here and then over the bed it actually arches so you have a little bit more to climb up here and then lay down and when you're tired at the end of the day and you've had too much fun you can crawl up into your bed and go to sleep and as you climb up here you get a nice queen size bed plenty of room for activities and this awesome skylights right above you so you can look at the stars at night open it take a look out for any suspicious intruders that might be where you want to put the 50 cal actually here you can find the controls for a lot of the electronics and the patent up here is the controls for the 22,000 btu 12 volt air conditioner also have the wabasto diesel heater controls and it also heats your hot water heater there are 800 watts of solar panels and 500 amp hours of battery storage from five battleborn batteries there's also a 3000 watt inverter don't really need it though because everything's basically run on 12 volt in here but in case you want to run an instapot an air fryer or a hair dryer you got that under control and when things get hairy and you need to split and bigfoot's on your roof bouncing up and down and you gotta get out of there you can pass through from the camper to the driver's seat which is one of the key features i've really been looking for these days i've also been looking for one of these but she's already taken she's the wolf rig supervisor hard at work fellow wolf number two is still in training. When you're living in something full time and off-roading and enjoying your life out there, the small details matter. Somebody who really loved this rig built it and it shows. So what do you think? Should I move into this thing or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. See you next week.